Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Uncle Matt's Cuckoo Lessons. Who fancies oysters? Hello, in this video I'm going to be making angels on horseback, which is oysters, these things, wrapped in bacon and cooked. It's dead easy, and if you haven't had oysters because you don't like the idea of eating something that's alive, I get it, um, this might be the recipe for you, and uh, I think you're going to really like this one. So the traditional way of opening it, shucking the oysters, that's with a SH. Always a good idea to be safe here. So a nice clean tea towel folded over a few times and that's my oyster shucking knife. It's just a, a very strong, it's not sharp or anything like that. It's just one design to get in that hinge. That's the hinge and you have to sort of wiggle it, force it a little bit. That You know, this poor little oyster's trying to hold on saying, get off. But you then sort of twist the knife, open it up and then scrape along that top part there and this is all a bit of a faff and I promise you if you've worked in a restaurant where you've got to like shuck about 100 oysters in a night you know you get a bit quicker than I'm doing it here but I haven't done it for a long time you know give me a break and then loosen them up underneath because it's sort of holding on to its home there as well bit of shell broken you always get that you get little shards of shell nice as you open them they're not very nice to eat so it's now loosened and I'm just going to sort of eat this the traditional way so a bit of pepper a bit of hot sauce Squeeze a lemon. Oh, gorgeous. Get it in you. And chew them on the way down. Don't swallow them whole. Ruins all the... You yum. don't get the flavour. Yeah, yum indeed. So this is another method. Um, mussels, a more marinière, you know, they open when you steam them. Oysters are the same type of... They're a mollusk, aren't they? So after a few minutes of, of sort of steaming and a little bit of water... You can see there, that one has opened up nicely all by itself. Thank you very much for doing that. Uh, some of them might not open as much as that, You have to, but they will be looser. And say, even with like a knife, like a butter knife or a palette knife, you should be able to pry that open then. Much easier. And it's cooked. It's dead. You haven't got to eat it alive. And there it is. And uh, I mean, yeah, it looks well worked to see. And actually, my autofocus isn't working properly there. I do apologise. But yeah, ugly blooming sods they are. But they taste really tasty. They're lovely. So I use a bit of streaky bacon, nice and thin. Roll it over so it's sort of wrapped around a couple of times. Cut your bacon. And obviously I'm only making a few here. But if you've got a little station going, you know, you could make hundreds of these if you wanted to. And secure it with a cocktail stick. One done. Well, anyway, so I won't show you all of them because that would be very boring indeed. But there you go. So that's just the second one, a different angle. Secure that. And they're all done, ready to go. You could put these on a tray, put them in the oven, do them, probably take 10 to 15 minutes or so, but I don't think you'll get the same sort of caramelisation here. So I like a hot frying pan, a bit of neutral oil. In they go, about three minutes either side. Obviously, if they're going a bit too fast, you can turn the heat down, but oh, yes. And feel free to use like a palette knife or tongs to turn them over, but I'm an idiot, so I just use my fingers. And uh, I mean, they're just ready. They are looking wonderful and uh, yeah serve them up in dishes like that anyway i'm gonna hand you over to me for the tasting of that one so there we have angels on horseback and they look gorgeous there's a bit of work involved but that's the point if you're doing that canapes and nibbles you're supposed to show your friends you care for them by making an effort that is the whole point anyway shall we try one i think it'd be rude not to have a little bit of lemon i'm just gonna put that on there like that And for me, a bit of hot sauce is a must. Let's put a little dollop on there. And it's amazing. That is so, so tasty. I haven't had those for years. Um, I wish oysters weren't so expensive. <laughs> anyway, um, angels on horseback, give it a go. I hope you like it. As I say, feel free to help me out a little bit by commenting, sharing, subscribing, those sorts of things, because, you know, maybe it might help one day. Who knows? Anyway, thank you very much for watching. I'll catch you again reasonably soon. Cheers then. Bye.